Aswan is a city in the south of Egypt, and is the capital of the Aswan governor. Aswan is a busy market and tourist center located just north of the Aswan Dam on the east bank of the Nile at the first cataract. The modern city has expanded and includes the formerly separate community on the island of Elephantine. The city is part of the UNESCO Creative Cities Network in the category of craft and folk art. Aswan is a large tourist city where the current population is 1,568,000. Aswan was formerly spelled Aswan or Asawan. Names in other languages include The Nubians also call the city Dib which means fortress, palace and is derived from the old Nubian name. Aswan is the ancient city of Swenet, later known as Syene, which in antiquity was the frontier town of ancient Egypt facing the south. Swenet is supposed to have derived its name from an Egyptian goddess with the same name. This goddess later was identified as Elithia by the Greeks and Lucina by the Romans during their occupation of ancient Egypt because of the similar association of their goddesses with childbirth, and of which the import is the opener. The ancient name of the city also is said to be derived from the Egyptian symbol for trade, or market. Because the ancient Egyptians oriented themselves toward the origin of the life-giving waters of the Nile in the south, and as Swenet was the southernmost town in the country, Egypt always was conceived to open or begin at Swenet. The city stood upon a peninsula on the right bank of the Nile, immediately below the first cataract of the flowing waters, which extend to it from Philae. Navigation to the delta was possible from this location without encountering a barrier. The stone quarries of ancient Egypt located here were celebrated for their stone, and especially for the granitic rock called Sinai. They furnished the colossal statues, obelisks, and monolithal shrines that are found throughout Egypt, including the pyramids, and the traces of the quarrymen who worked in these 3,000 years ago are still visible in the native rock. They lie on either bank of the Nile, and a road, 6.5 kilometers in length, was cut beside them from Syene to Philae. Swenet was equally important as a military station as a place of traffic. Under every dynasty it was a garrison town, and here tolls and customs were levied on all boats passing southwards and northwards. Around 330, the legion stationed here received a bishop from Alexandria, this later became the Coptic Diocese of Syene. The city is mentioned by numerous ancient writers, including Herodotus, Strabo, Stephanus of Byzantium, Ptolemy, Pliny the Elder, Vitruvius, and it appears on the Antonine itinerary. It may also be mentioned in the book of Ezekiel and the book of Isaiah. View from the west bank of the Nile, islands, and Aswan the Nile is nearly 650 meters wide above Aswan. From this frontier town to the northern extremity of Egypt, the river flows for more than 1,200 kilometers without bar or cataract. The voyage from Aswan to Alexandria usually took 21 to 28 days in favorable weather. In April 2018, the Egyptian Ministry of Antiquities announced the discovery of the head of the bust of Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius at the Temple of Kamombo during work to protect the site from groundwater. In September 2018, the Egyptian Antiquities Minister Khaled El Enani announced that a sandstone sphinx statue had been discovered at the Temple of Kamombo. The statue, measuring approximately 28 cm in width and 38 cm in height, likely dates to the Ptolemaic dynasty. Archaeologists discovered 35 mummified remains of Egyptians in a tomb in Aswan in 2019. Italian archaeologists Patrizia Piacentini and L. Enani both reported that the tomb, where the remains of ancient men, women and children were found, dates back to the Greco-Roman period between 332 BC and 395 AD, while the findings assumed belonging to a mother and a child were well preserved. Others had suffered major destruction. Other than the mummies, artifacts including painted funerary masks, bases of bitumen used in mummification, pottery and wooden figurines were revealed. Thanks to the hieroglyphics on the tomb, it was detected that the tomb belongs to a tradesman named Chi. It's a very important discovery because we added something to the history of Aswan that was missing. We knew about tombs and necropoly dating. Back to the 2nd and 3rd millennium, but we didn't know where the people who lived in the last part of the Pharaoh era were. Aswan on the southern border of Egypt, was also a very important trading city Piacentini said. In February 2021, archaeologists from the Egyptian Ministry of Antiquities announced the discovery of Ptolemaic period temple, a Roman fort. An early Coptic church and an inscription written in hieratic script at an archaeological site called Shia Fort in Aswan. According to Mostafa Waziri, crumbling temple was decorated with palm leaf carvings and an incomplete sandstone panel that described a Roman emperor. According to researcher Abdul Badi, generally, the church contained ovens that were used to bake pottery, 
four rooms, a long hall, stairs, and stone tiles. Northern Tropic Boundary The latitude of the city that would become Aswan, located at 24 degrees 5 23 inches, was an object of great interest to the ancient geographers and mathematicians. They believed that it was seated immediately under the tropic, and that on the day of the summer solstice, a vertically positioned staff cast no shadow. They noted that the sun's disk was reflected in a deep well at the noon. This statement is only approximately correct, at the summer solstice, the shadow was only one four hundredth of the staff, and so could scarcely be discerned, and the northern limb of the sun's disk would be nearly vertical. More than 2,000 years ago Greek polymath Eratosthenes used this information to calculate Earth's circumference. Aswan has a hot desert climate like the rest of Egypt. Aswan and Luxor have the hottest summer days of any city in Egypt. Aswan is one of the hottest, sunniest and driest cities in the world. Average high temperatures are consistently above 40 degrees Celsius during summer while average low temperatures remain above 25 degrees Celsius. Average high temperatures remain above 23 degrees Celsius during the coldest month of the year while average low temperatures remain above 8 degrees Celsius. Summers are very prolonged and extremely hot with blazing sunshine although desert heat is dry. Winters are brief and pleasantly mild, though nights may be cool at times. The climate of Aswan is extremely dry year-round, with less than 1 mm of average annual precipitation. The desert city is one of the driest ones in the world, and rainfall doesn't occur every year, as of early 2001, the last rain there was seven years earlier. When heavy precipitation does occur, as in a November 2021 rain and hail storm, flash flooding can drive scorpions from their lairs to deadly effects. Aswan is one of the least humid cities on the planet, with an average relative humidity of only 26%, with a maximum mean of 42% during winter and a minimum mean of 16% during summer. The weather of Aswan is extremely clear, bright and sunny year-round, in all seasons, with a low seasonal variation, with almost 4,000 hours of annual sunshine, very close to the maximum theoretical sunshine duration. Aswan is one of the sunniest places on Earth. The highest record temperature was 51 degrees Celsius on July 4, 1918, and the lowest record temperature was minus 2. 4 degrees Celsius on January 6, 1989. In 1999, South Valley University was inaugurated and it has three branches, Aswan, Ghana, and Hergata. The university grew steadily and is now firmly established as an institution of higher education in Upper Egypt. The Aswan branch of Ashit University opened in 1973. Aswan also houses the Aswan Higher Institute of Social Work, which was established in 1975. Aswan is served by the Aswan International Airport. Train and bus service is also available. Taxis and rickshaws are used for transport. Aswan is twinned with. Thanks for watching.